So, very, very excited to have this guest on. Now, you may have seen our next guest during the last election. He actually asked one of the most poignant questions I've ever heard. Please, put your hands together for Mr. Ken Bone. Come on out, Ken. Oh, man, Ken. Ken, you're killing it. You are so famous now. Gosh, you, yeah, this is the sweater you had during the debate, right? Yeah, like I wore this. Ken Bone, Ken Bone, Ken Bone. Ken Bone. You have blown up on Twitter off showing up to one debate, asking one question, and wearing what is now an incredibly famous red sweater, white tie, white undershirt. Yep, yeah, um, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So you asked this question, you went viral. You, you're, everyone loves you. Why do you think you just blew up on social media? Uh, well, I, uh, I, well, I raised my hand at a debate, and uh, I, got, I got to ask a question. Yeah, uh, just keep your mustache right up in there, yeah. And um, it, I think that's why people are jealous. Yeah. No, you did, and you, you asked a great question. You talked about uh, you know energy. You really uh, got the candidate. So you're undecided, and I want to know after the answer to the question, have you decided? No. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's a tough, tough election. Like you, I, I know you had trouble with this. The sweater wasn't originally what you were gonna wear. I heard. Could you tell yeah, that story? Uh, I, I was gonna, I was gonna wear an olive suit. Um, my mother would have loved the olive suit. Um, I talked to her about it before. Uh, I told her I was gonna wear it. Uh, we had a long phone conversation about it. She said, "Darling, you're gonna wear that olive suit." And I said, "Yes, mom, I am." And then I got in the car. I sat down in that car, and I... Uh, and I know. Just let it out. Just let it out. Well, tour in the behind. <laughs> so I had, a ch I had to change. And uh, the thing was, I, I was going to wear this... Uh, I was going to wear this sweater for our Christmas card, uh, and I was going to wear this sweater during Christmas, for Christmas church. But I had to wear it early this year, and everyone saw it, and... Uh, <laughs> I'm really happy about being Twitter famous, but I'm really disappointed that everyone had to see my Christmas sweater before. Yeah, I know. On your Twitter account, you said that you had gained 30 pounds since the last time you had worn those pants, and that's probably why they split. <laughs> <laughs> I, a lot of people have been asking me to ask you, I wouldn't even ask this myself, but how, how long between the last time you wore the pants? <laughs> Are you asking how long it took me to gain 30 pounds? <laughs> There's different ways to phrase it, but that's just, when was the last time you put the pants on? Because we know you're 30 pounds more now. My mom gave that suit to me at my high school graduation. <laughs> and I don't know how old I am now. Maybe I'm 36, maybe I'm 52. <laughs> it's hard to know with the mustache. It, Gives I, you a wider range of ages. I gained a little bit of love weight, <laughs> so, and I do so, enjoy our donuts. You know, the reason they picked you to be on this national press is because you really described the, the everyman. So we had a few everyman questions. Uh, the first one being, how do you handle a jar that's hard to, you know, hard to get open? Um, yeah, I, I think about this every day. Um, uh, I, I take it to the counter, um, and I give it a slam. Oh, you knock the bottom of the peanut butter jar. Uh, yeah, well, I, I hit the lid against the counters. <laughs> mm, yeah. <laughs> and and does I, that work? Usually, if I can't get it then, I get a screwdriver out, um, and I crank it. OK. Um, the next question is about uh, uh, parking your car. I hear a lot of times, uh, you know, you, you, like other Americans, forget where you park. Like, you know, you park, you think you'd remember, but then you're just going to the store. You come out and. Oh yeah, yeah. I often run into this problem. Um, I drive a suburban, and uh, I often get into other cars. Wait there. Um, I don't drive. My wife drives. No, so that's I, not a normal thing to do. You're described as the normal American, but we don't. When we get lost, we don't get in other people's cars. That's illegal. No, no. Like, it's an accident. I, 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 I end up in someone else's get, car, sitting there. Then I realize. No one's coming to drive me home. My wife, who's in the store, finishing the checkout. Gotcha. 
And I move cars. And, and then eventually I do find my car. We go home. Give it up for Ken Bone. Thank you so much for coming out. It was a pleasure to have you. Thank you. I'm glad you're famous. You deserve it. You deserve it very much. I'm gonna fix that energy problem. Thank you. Sophia Bowser, Flame Ken Bone. Good job. <laughs>